Thanks so much for staying with us for the news at 430. I'm Carolyn Brook and as travelers return to the skies, airlines are struggling to find new pilots. In fact, next year, airlines expect to have a shortage of more than 12,000 pilots. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joining us live from Lincoln County with the details. Lexi, we don't want them to loosen restrictions to become a pilot because safety is of the utmost concern, but they got to do something to get these pilots there. Well, yeah, definitely. And we're at the Lincoln County Airport where they have their own flight school. It's called Premier Air, and they tell us that they are actually seeing an increase in students looking to tackle the problem. Planes come and go here at Lincoln County Airport. A smaller airport trying to tackle bigger things. Uh, there is a pilot shortage going on. Um, this is something that is not going to end tomorrow. It may be hard to believe, but the high paying job with generous benefits and travel perks has become one of the most difficult positions to fill, even before the pandemic. We always spend a nice uh, amount of time teaching how to do a thorough pre-flight. Greg Knopp is trying to tackle the pilot shortage in a couple ways. By helping others, he's also pushing himself closer to the goal line. Now I teach students, um, I'll do five or six lessons every day. And now I can build time towards my airline transport pilot, which requires 1,500 hours. 1,500 hours. A lot of commitment, a lot of time dedicated, a lot of studying. While he can teach people to fly an airplane like me, he still can't fly for an airline, but soon he will be able to. There's a regional airline called Piedmont Airlines, and then they're affiliated with, with American Airlines out of Charlotte. So what's, what's great about this is, like I said, I'll start receiving some of the incentives. I'll, I'll start getting a little bit of money back on my training that I had to pay. Becoming an airline pilot while training others to do the same. And as you heard, it does take a lot of money to become a pilot. Now, some local airlines are offering incentives so that they can help pay for some of that training. Reporting live in Lincoln County for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson. Back to you. Really brave there, Lexi. I see you in the cockpit. You're looking good. Maybe you'll become a pilot. Who knows?